So I happen to have six of these bunny head wreath frames and I'm going to make something really cute out of it. So if you're going to make this, first thing you want to just kind of squish the bunny ears to make them just a little bit thinner. And then using some wire cutters, I ended up just cutting the inner ring of each of the bunny heads. This is just going to make it a little bit easier when you go to start stacking them and it'll make it less bulky. It just makes it easier. So I went ahead and did that. So again, all six of them. Then you want to just place three of them down and then go ahead and zip tie those together. Just tighten it as tight as it'll go. And I used about two or three zip ties. And then you want to grab the other three, go ahead and place those down and zip tie those together as tight as they will go. And now you should have two sets of the three. You then want to just put those two together and again, use some zip ties to secure them all into place. And again, you want to make sure that you have this as tight as those zip ties will go. You then just want to grab some fabric of your choice. I grabbed this white and yellow buffalo check fabric from Hobby Lobby. I only used a half a yard for this project. So the way I started applying the fabric is I just cut it down to the size of the ears, applied the hot glue along the frame of the ears, and then just place that fabric right down. And I am doing this on the back side of this wreath frame. And once you have that hot glue down, just go around and just cut off any of the excess. Cut it as close to the wreath frame as you can. I have a little bit of excess and that's totally fine because I'm going to go over it anyways. So once you have those bunny ears all covered up with the fabric, I am just using some nautical rope I picked up from Hobby Lobby, or you could use the stuff from Dollar Tree, doesn't matter, and just began hot gluing that on the front side of each of the bunny ears. Now, I'm not 100% sure how much nautical rope I use, but if you were going to get uh, the nautical rope from Dollar Tree, I would say maybe get about 10 or 11 packages. Once that is all covered, you then just want to cut out a circle with some cardboard, use some more nautical rope, and just begin covering up that cardboard all around. And just hot glue it every now and then to make sure that everything stays in place. And then I just used some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and just painted right on top of that nautical rope. And go ahead and allow that to completely dry. And then flip that upside down. I grabbed some pipe cleaners, doesn't matter what color you have. Apply some hot glue. If you have a staple gun, use that as well, just for that extra support. And this is going to make it so much easier to hook this piece right inside of the wreath frame of those bunny ears. So just poke those pipe cleaners through the edges of the wreath frame, flip it upside down, add some hot glue if you need to, and then just tighten those pipe cleaners as tight as they will go. And again, add more hot glue as needed. You wanna make sure that this piece is not going anywhere. Now this ended up taking two days to make. I just needed a break after making the entire flower. So you're gonna see a change of clothes. But anyways, I then made this adorable bow, found a good placement for it in the front of my sunflower, used some Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive Glue with a mixture of hot glue and just placed that right down. And then flip the wreath face down, grab some more nautical rope, hot glue that to the back. Again, if you have a staple gun, use that as well for that extra support. And now you have a hanger for your wreath. And there you go, guys. This came out absolutely stunning. Again, it was a two-day project, but it is so worth it. This piece is so big. It makes a great statement for your front door or wherever you would like to put it. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.